When we found out, they said I was going to have to have an emergency C-section. We were in shock. I guess when we first found out that he was going to be coming early, I didn't know how to react because I'd never been through a situation like that before because he was our first son. And basically, um, it was confusion and I was scared. I know my wife was scared too because I knew it wasn't good. When Jennifer was admitted to labor and delivery that afternoon, she came in with Carrie and many of her family members. We had a lot of interventions to be done in a very short period of time. And during that time, we also needed to explain everything that was going on to Jennifer and her family. Uh, we had IVs to start, we had medications to give, and monitors to place on Jennifer. Jennifer had a condition that's called an incompetent cervix, it means that the cervix is very weakened. And when her pregnancy got to a certain point, the cervix, which is the neck of the uterus, the gate, if you will, simply opened. And when she did, the membranes were exposed to the outside world, the membranes ruptured, and delivery followed. I was very scared when I saw him for the first time, so um, I didn't, you know, I know babies weren't supposed to come that early, and um, I just didn't know anything about it, so I was very scared. After Jackson was born, they took him into the neonatal intensive care unit. They weighed him. He was two pounds, 1.7 ounces. He was so tiny that they could take my husband's wedding ring and put it around his foot. When the Hudson Bellers had their baby, they were um, very much like many other families that come in. They come in with a bit of a scared, startled look on their face, and they can't believe that that little person in the bed is theirs. And so there's a lot of like shock in the sense of they come in and see what's going on, and it's like, wow, that can't be my baby. When I finally went home, we did not get to take Jackson home with us. So that probably was the longest car ride I've ever had to take without being able to take him home. We found out that Jackson was gonna be able to come home with us on Christmas Day, which was the best Christmas present that I ever could have received, ever. I remember the day that Carrie and Jennifer were coming to pick up their baby to take him home. And they had gone through all the education, have done the, the time sleeping in the room with the baby, learning to take care of what he needs. And when it came time to say goodbye, it was really hard for them. Jennifer grabbed me and hugged me for the longest time. And I kept saying, it'll be okay, Jennifer, you can do this. You can go home now, he's yours. It's okay, you can do this. And it was hard for her to let go. She was very supportive towards our family. She, I think she cared a lot about what we were going through and what, you know, how Jackson was doing and just let us know that it's okay to be, you know, sad and it's okay to be happy and it's okay to feel this way. And she, she was just very supportive throughout the whole thing. Jackson now, he's two and a half years old. He's doing great. He's just a great kid. He loves to play. He's very busy. Um, he's healthy. I don't think that you could have asked for a better staff than what Benefice has. They, they absolutely have the best care for um, their NICU unit is just top notch. Um, we couldn't ask for better uh, people to be around. And not only were they just good at what they do or great at what they do, but they were nice people and they were nice people to be around, especially during a tough time like which Jennifer and I had. I've been associated with units on and off now for 25 years professionally and without question the staff and the unit that we have here in Great Falls um, is second to none. Women and Children's Services at Benefits Healthcare is very important. Um, that whole service line entails, um, it contains labor and delivery, which is the obstetric unit and postpartum unit and normal newborn nursery. There's the pediatric unit and then the neonatal intensive care unit, which are all part of Women's and Children's Services. We have a growing community and lots of families who have babies immediately here in Great Falls as well as the outlying region. One of the important aspects of maternal and child health is that we provide care for those families here in Great Falls. We're the only obstetric and neonatal unit in our city and we also provide care for a very large catchment area. Um, 
It is important for Great Falls to support the NICU. It's important for them to support women and children's health in general. Um, Benefice is about the people of Great Falls. Fortunately, our service is also there for, for patients who come from wherever in Montana. We take care of patients far as, from as far away as Libby, Montana, and as far as away as Poplar, and Wolf Point, and Scobie. And, um, so it is a very, very large, extensive program, but we exist because of Great Falls.